This is Twit. Rob is up first. Rob, what is a CPU controller? All right. So my pick for the week is CPU controller. So have you ever, you know, wanted to turn off some of your CPU cores? You know, maybe to determine whether a core is working properly during a a rise in frequency or for testing purposes to reduce processor power usage. You know, maybe maybe it went somewhere, you forgot your power cable, so you want to just make that laptop power stretch out as long as possible, turn off those cores, uh, improve overall performance. You know, if uh, something benefits from a high-performance core rather than uh, uh, not then then spread it across to the low performance course maybe to solve some some issues software or licensing you know if you're have some running something licensed on a per core basis well here is an app for you it's called cpu controller you have to uh install it with a it's a pip install or a pip x install and you can find the the directions on their github it's by art3 mystical so if you if you uh, search on the webs or go to our show notes, you can find a like. So for those watching, uh, I have a, I just ran a CPU controller here. And I, I also have another um, another program in the back here watching my CPU. So as you can see, on this virtual machine, I have four CPUs there. Now here is the CPU uh, controller. So it's CPU cores. Here's my four CPUs. I want to turn one off and I left this running too long. So now it wants a password <laughs> over here. So let's go back to this app. If I turn it off, there you go. You'll see one core disappeared. Oh, wow. Another core is going to disappear and you can't turn off all the cores. I tried. I was hoping <laughs> I could crash my system or something. Fun. <laughs> uh, you can turn them back on and they'll show back up. In fact, you can't even turn off the first core. But uh, at sense. least on my system, I don't know. I don't know if that's... I'm not a CPU aficionado. I don't know all the bits. But you can turn off all your other cores, at least on my system. And and do all those uh, exciting tests or lower your power, whatever reason you have. But yeah. there you go. CPU controller you can find on GitHub. It's a pip install cool. away. Cool. Um, on one system I used to run a bunch of audio stuff on, we found that if we turned every other core off, we would get better performance because the audio stuff we were doing did not like hyper-threading. So that was fun. I might try that with that one. And uh, just a note, core zero is special. Yes. That's why you can't turn it off. It's got uh, some... That's kind of where it kind of kick-starts everything. All right. Well, that's going to be your new nickname then, Jeff. Core zero. <laughs> Oh, and probably um, Core Zero is uh, the one running the application too, right? But the application should be able to move from core to core. In fact, it does. All if you if you look, unless you explicitly pin it, applications will jump from core to core. Uh, your your system just does that automatically. I think it, I think it mainly is for heat spreading purposes, so you don't have a hot spot on your CPU. Another um, thing, exactly why? Yeah. Another thing, when you do close it, uh, if you have CPUs turned off or disabled. Um, it's going to, it's going to, a pop-up will say all CPUs have been enabled. So it's going to enable all those cores again, if you close it. So you, yeah, makes... so you won't forget and all of a sudden. <laughs> Why is my computer so slow? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, all right. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there.